everybody in first grade, welcome to reading. I'm so excited that you're here today. I hope you had a good long weekend. Today we are doing day 34, and it is Tuesday, May 26, 2020. Let's get started and let's see what we're going to learn today. Here is our learning target. Our learning target is I can read a text and answer questions about key details. Key details. I hope you remember our umbrella. I will briefly go over it in a little bit. Can you guys repeat the learning target after me this time? I can read a text and answer questions about key details. And high five. Let's see what you are going to need to succeed today. You are going to need the article, How to Welcome Migrating Birds, a pencil, your day 34 activity sheet, or a blank sheet of paper. Right now, we're going to reread the article, How to Welcome Migrating Birds, so you can follow along with me in your packet or just listen to me read right now. If you're looking for it in your packet, make sure you pause the video. Let's get started reading. How to Welcome Migrating Birds by ReadWorks. No matter where you live, birds that migrate are in your neighborhood at some point during the year. Some are just passing through, while others are there for a season or two. Different kinds of birds take different paths, paths through North and South America each year to help all birds, whether they are in your neighborhood year round, part of the year, or briefly as they migrate to another place. Here are some tips. Grow plants to provide fruit, seeds, and insects for birds. Plants can also be great nesting places for birds. Make your yard or schoolyard bird friendly with these do-it-yourself projects. Provide a bird bath as a source of clean water. Put up bird feeders and place decals on the outside of windows to help prevent birds from crashing into windows. When you are outside, don't litter. Also, be careful not to disturb bird nests. Switch to refillable water bottles instead of throwaway plastic ones. A lot of plastic ends up in the ocean or other bodies of water. At night, close curtains and window blinds so the light inside doesn't confuse birds that are flying by. All right, excellent job, first grade, following along with me. I want you guys to think about this question. Why does the author say that people should grow plants? Why does the author say that people should grow plants? I'm going to give you five seconds to think about it before we share. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Yell out. Why does the author say that people should grow plants? Awesome! I heard two things being yelled out. I heard something, I heard someone say something about what we answered last time about um, their fruit, insects, and seeds, that they provide those things. And I also heard somebody say that they provide a nest, or they can be a nest or a home for birds. Excellent job. Nice. Air high five. First grade, we are rocking it. This is my next question I have. According to the article, what is something that people can make for birds? Hmm. So it says, according to the article, are we just going to call out something random that we thought of on our in our brain? No, we have to think back to what Miss Pierce just read aloud. It has to be something that I said in that article. I'm sure that there's a bunch of awesome things that we can make for birds. And I know our first graders are super creative, but it has to be. It says, according to the article. 
So what is something that I just read in the article that people can make for birds? I'm going to give you five seconds of think time. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Whisper into your hand, what's something we can make for birds? Ooh, my answer was something that we can make for birds is a bird bath in your schoolyard or even your backyard. I remember that the article said schoolyard. Okay, so now make sure you have your day 34 activity sheet. If you need to get it out of your packet, pause the video now. We're gonna keep moving first grade. So this is what our day 34 activity sheet looks like. And this is what it's asking us to do today. How to welcome migrating birds. Use evidence from the text to support your thinking. Why does the author say that people should grow plants? He just answered that. Let's see what the next one is. What is something that people can make for birds? What is something that people can make for birds? And then you're gonna draw a picture of something that people can make for birds. So let's break down. We're gonna go over how we can answer those two questions, okay? So let's focus on the first question again. Why does the author say that people should grow plants? So first of all, I'm gonna give us a sentence stem to make sure that we are ready to have a complete sentence. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna go back to the article, right? We gotta go look at our key details because these questions are really helping us remember our key details that are in our article, right? So let's look at our stem. The author says that people should grow plants to blank, period. And let's really quickly review what our key details are before we go back to our article. So our key details are facts, examples, or details that support or help describe the main topic, right? We are just focusing on our key details today, but our key details end up supporting the main topic. So it all goes back to the main topic, what the text is mostly about. Okay, so let's go back to our article now and answer why does the author say that people should grow plants? Here's the hand scooted all around. So we're back at our article, and I remember from my memory that the tips are in. The tips are in one of, the tips are in these bullets. So if we're looking for why should people grow plants, I'm gonna look at the first one. Let's look at the first one right here. Grow, grow plants. So people could grow plants to provide fruit, seeds, and insects for birds. Whoa, my answer is right there. So I'm gonna underline that right again before we go back to our question. To provide fruit, seeds, and insects for birds. Let's go back. The author says that people should grow plants to provide fruit. Seeds and insects for birds. Is that a complete sentence? Yes. Did we go back to the text? Yes. First grade is awesome. Okay, let's go to our next question, first grade. So we have this question done. And you can pause the video if you need more time filling this question into your activity sheet. This is my next question. What is something that people can make for birds? What is something that people can make for birds? And right now, I'm gonna give you, this is my first stem that I'm gonna give you, and then I'm gonna give you another one. So something people can make for birds is blank. 
something people can make for birds is blank. My next stem that you could use, so you can choose, you don't, don't use both of these, just pick one. My next stem is blank is something people can make for birds. Blank is something people can make for birds. Let's go back to our article and I'm just going to read that section again. And this is the section that I want you guys to focus on right here. Follow my mouse. Make your yard or schoolyard bird friendly with these do it yourself projects. Provide a bird bath as a source of clean water. Put up bird feeders and place decals on the outside of windows to help prevent birds from crashing into windows. Awesome. I heard a few things that people can make, right? A little do-it-yourself. Uh, there are a few do-it-yourself things that people can make or do to help birds. So I want you to pick one of those and then go back to our question. And fill in one of these blanks, right? So something people can make for birds is blank. What did you hear me just read that you could fill in there? And then our next one, you can fill in that same thing. Blank is something people can make for birds. So first grade, you are going to turn this in completed. And I'll read that bottom for you again, that bottom picture part. So turn in your day 34 activity sheet completed. Both of these questions that we went over in this video and draw a picture of something that people can make for birds. So after you finish this with a complete sentence, draw what you wrote about. Draw something that you can make that people can make for birds or you can make. Awesome job, first grade. Make sure you turn in your day 34 activity sheet to your class dojo. So proud of you guys. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow.